Hello and a very warm welcome to this Forbes Middle East special interview. I'm Ramya Faraj. Schneider Electric's mission is to drive the digital transformation and we're joined by its chairman and CEO Jean-Pascal Trecois. Thanks so much for being with us today, sir. I'd like to ask you first of all about the 2021 financial results that were revealed last week. How do you feel I mean, about those results and, and are there any numbers that specifically stand out? Uh, hi, Ramya. It's a pleasure to be with you. Well, we announced our results last week, so it's really fresh from the oven on uh, very strong growth uh, because post-COVID you had a very strong rebound of the economy and we serve the needs for electrification, digitization, more sustainability for companies and cities, so very strong demand. Uh, we reached our objective of profitability of overshooting 17% one year in advance on signing a 5 billion euro operating profit for the first time in our history on a revenue of 29 billion euro and our net profit jumped up by 51% at more than 3 billion euro for the first time. And then the whole year was really serving the demand in the middle of still a world which is complex with the pandemic on supply chain tensions. These are really incredible numbers. To what do you attribute this jump in results? Look, we, we've been specializing, as you said in your introduction, in being the digit, digital partner of our customers for more efficiency and more sustainability. And you have two factors which happened during the COVID crisis. The first one is that digitization really accelerated because people had to remote work, remote operate, remote do everything from designing their installations to operating their installations. And the second one is that there is a common or global realization that climate change is a real problem. And you see that now the COP is coming to Egypt and then uh, uh, next year into Abu Dhabi and into the Emirates. So we see, we've seen those needs of digitization and sustainability really gaining a lot of traction and importance. Uh, in the past uh, in the past year tell us about your relationship with the uae its importance to schneider electric and um, your mission for the uae and the broader region so we've been in the uae for many years um, actually we manage a very large uh, part of our business from the uae africa and middle east which is one of the largest operations of of schneider um, and we, from the UAE, we contribute to all the aspects of, of life of the Emirates uh, in infrastructure, in industry, in data centers, which are really the backbone of our digital life, and of course, building on residential. So you don't see Schneider Electric, but we are behind everything you do when you live at your place or when you work. And all our technologies are geared to more efficiency, leveraging digitization and clean electrification for, again, more sustainability. Now, we saw you meeting recently with Her Excellency Sara Alamiri from the Ministry of Industry and Advanced Technology. Tell us a little bit about uh, that meeting, what was discussed, and what will the outcomes of those talks be? Well, first, we are um, uh, honored uh, to be part of the network of Champion 4.0 uh, for designing a more digital and more sustainable uh, society. And we have particularly specialized in sustainability on Industry 4.0 through our sister company called Aviva. And what we talked about is how we could, we, with our technologies, help small and medium enterprises on companies on the infrastructure here in the Emirates uh, to go to the next level of modernity through digital on to the next level of sustainability by leveraging technology. And the large part of that was also dedicated to education because all of those new technologies give place to a lot of new jobs, uh, new ways of doing things, where we need to educate a number of, uh, of, of people and especially the youth of, uh, here in the Emirates. And, and gave also place to how do we partner with other companies? How do we collaborate? Uh, trans sectors to make sure that we help our customers uh, to evolve and on, on to, uh, uh, to keep progressing. Now the private sector is tasked with advancing sustainability and many of your counterparts are doing so. What really sets Schneider Electric apart from, from the rest? 
Look, it's, I think it's a complete alignment of everything we do at Schneider. Uh, our mission, which is to help our customers to make uh, the most of their energy and resources. Then our strategy, which is to leverage technology of digitization and electrification to really abate emissions. Our model of operation, which is extremely local, close to local partners, close to uh, local deciders. And we were recognized in 2021 in Davos as the most sustainable company in the world, all industries considered. Uh, and we are actually the first recognition we ever had for our pioneering uh, look at or pioneering role in sustainability was actually uh, here in the Emirates uh, receiving uh, the Shares Hyatt Prize for the energy of the future in 2012. So uh, we are recognized for that specialization in technologies to help our customers to achieve more while using less of their resources. Congratulations on the award and on, on all of your subsequent successes when it comes to sustainability. Tell us a little bit about diversity in the workplace. We know that you champion female empowerment. What is your message for companies throughout the Middle East in terms of empowering women? Well, it's not that message is not for companies in the Middle East. I think we all have the same challenge. Females are underrepresented in our companies, and especially when you are in technology, energy, automation, software, this underrepresentation is even more um, uh, is even more visible, right? Uh, and it's absolutely essential that our companies are a fair reflection of our society and are uh, not only gender diverse but at parity in terms of gender. So at Schneider, we've taken that cause or that uh, necessity very seriously. Uh, long time ago. Today, our board is at parity, uh, half women and men. Our executive committee is also almost at parity. We are almost there. And in our top leadership, we are close to 30% of women, which frankly, in the field in which we operate, is quite unusual. And it's a long journey and it takes the energy of everybody, but it makes the company so much better uh, in terms of creativity, in terms of engagement, in terms of spirit in terms of balance um, and, and I, we are clearly directed to keep going and keep journeying till we go to, uh, to parity. But it's an engagement of everybody in the company, starting by men who, who must endorse and we, I was one of the E4C first ambassadors and many of our, of our male members of Schneider signed and engaged and mentored women to the top of the company. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Jean-Pascal Tricot, the chairman and CEO of Schneider Electric. Thank you, Ramia.